Hello everyone, my name is Yellow and welcome back to episode 7 of the TNA Universe Mode on WWE 2K14. And again, the response from the last episode, it was pretty good. Again, uh, let's see if I can check that out here, yeah, I've got it. We had 616 views, 68 thumbs up and 13 comments in about 4 days, which is pretty good. And... I realize that less and less people will start to view these videos as the series goes on because at the start of the series, you know, it's new and fresh and a lot of people will tune in to see what it's all about and then that will happen for maybe the first three to four episodes. And then it will start to go downhill and I can already see that that's happening here because each episode was hitting 100 likes up until episode 3. Episode 4 had 81 likes, episode 5 had 81 likes and now episode 6 has 68 likes after four days. And I can see that it is going downhill, and I noticed that, and pretty much the only reason that a new episode hasn't came out for so long is because I've been waiting for that 60 likes to be hit, because the quick guy gets hit, then the quick guy, the episode comes out. So, I am going to lower it, let's say 50 likes, and as soon as that 50 likes episode like on the episode gets hit then the next one will come out so the target for this episode is 50 likes and at the end of the last episode I did ask what match I should play which uh, knockouts I should use in this episode and there wasn't really a definitive answer because I don't think people really stuck around for the end of the video to figure out the question but um, yeah the main people who are commented was ODB and Gail Kim which is fine, so that is the match I'm going to play, ODB vs Gail Kim. And yeah, we are getting closer and closer to which pit view is it again? It is Hardcore Justice. We're getting closer and closer to Hardcore Justice. And uh, these are the matches for the show. So we have ODB vs Gail Kim, the match I will be playing. We also have Ethan Carter III taking on Matt Hardy with Sting in Matt Hardy's corner. So that's interesting there because EC3 and Sting have had a rivalry for quite a while now. We also have a six-man tag match, Devon, Bobby Roode and Robbie E taking on Samoa Joe, James Storm and Jay Lethal. Hmm, weird match up there. Match four is Kurt Angle taking on Austin Aries in a one-on-one match up there. Match five, another one-on-one match up, but this time it's a rivalry match. Chris Daniels taking on Nick Jackson and of course their tag team partners are in their corners there. And then finally in the main event we have Jeff Hardy taking on AJ Styles. One-on-one match up. Ooh. Very interesting, but of course we're going to be playing that knockouts match, so let's skip the other matches, see who wins. So Matt Hardy picked up the win over EC3 there. Samojo picked up the win for his team, pinning Bobby Roode. Austin Aries defeated Kurt Angle. Christopher Daniels defeated Nick Jackson, and in the main event, Jeff Hardy defeated AJ Styles. So let's see what WWE.com have to say here. Yeah, Matt Jackson and Nick, Nick Jackson took out Christopher Daniels with a vicious attack. Will Kazarian be able to compete without a partner? Christopher Daniels is injured? What? It looks like Christopher Daniels is injured even though he picked up the win. What? Wow. Wow, well, big shocking news there. But we have a match here, ODB vs Gil Kim, so let's get to it. The following Divas contest is scheduled for one fall, making her way to the ring from Minneapolis, Minnesota. ODB! Oh, the WWE Universe letting them hear it! And approaching the ring from Toronto, Canada, Gabe L. Kidd. Ah, oh, the WWE Universe letting them hear it. So here we are in the match now. Udi B, Gail Kim, and we are going to be Gail Kim. Okay. This is the first time I've played a matchup with women on this game. Other than with streaming with Rocco. So this is going to be like a completely different thing going on here because I don't know how much uh, damage is really taken, how well the movesets are for Divas or anything, or knockouts I guess you could call them since we are playing TNA so they are knockouts and uh, yeah just overall how different playing with female wrestlers is going to be and uh, 
right now it seems fine. It's just it's a little weird, I guess. It is a little bit different. Um, just because I'm not used to it at all, like at all, at all, at all. And uh, yeah, it's interesting. I don't even know how interested people are in in women's wrestling on the game or in real life because. In real life, well, in WWE, women's wrestling is just bad. It's really bad. Uh, there's not many people in WWE, the divas, who can wrestle. AJ's pretty good. Natalia's pretty good. Oh, who else? Who else? That's about it. That, that's about it. And even then, AJ's not the best. She's just, like, the most put up with one since she's popular and stuff. And, uh, yeah, I guess that works. I guess. But in... In, um... TNA, nearly every one of the, the knockouts can actually wrestle, and it's a shame that Taryn Terrell kind of left for a bit, I think she's pregnant, is she pregnant? I'm pretty sure she's pregnant, because she put up some amazing matches with Gail Kim uh, just before she left, and she was really good, and WWE really let her down there, but um, pretty much all the, the TNA knockouts can wrestle. So that if you want to find actual r women wrestling and you don't watch TNA, then you should watch TNA because they can actually wrestle. Because they're good! Because they can wrestle and they're good and d TNA actually know what they're doing with the, the divas. The knockouts, I guess. Because all WWE have done is give them a re reality TV show. And, you know... That's that's not going to promote their their wrestling at all. And the main focus, I'm guessing, a lot of why the majority of people tune in is to see what uh, Cena and Daniel Bryan do backstage and all this stuff. A lot of people won't be interested in the divas relationships outside of wrestling. I bet. I bet yeah, the majority of people who tune in is because um, they want to see what the the superstars do outside. And most of the time, the divas are either in underwear or bikinis or anything like that on the show so that's another reason why people might tune in it's not because they're interested in what people do back and what the divas do backstage of course it's not <laughs> of course it's not ah uh, so many people uh well wwe at least think it's that and they focus on the relationships of the divas which ah uh, i don't know i don't know something's going on there in WWE's mind. And the thing is, the show is actually getting ratings as well, so they can't say it's not a success because it is. People are tuning in. Uh, whatever. Whatever. It's not because of the Divas, though. It never has been because of the Divas. And what the hell is this taunt? Um, okay, Gil Kim. How do you do I come back? I'm guessing it's from the corner? Yeah, it is. Oh, whoa, whoa. Reversal. By Jesse. No. We're not. I'm breaking bad. And ODB is not a man. As much as uh, a lot of people might think so. <laughs> Whoa! Backflip by Gale. Whoa! Oh! There we go! Taking it down. Right. What's Gale Kim's signature again? I've completely forgot. Or a finisher. Okay, we'll just go straight into finisher. I didn't tap for that, but boom! There it is. Eat defeat. That could be it. Is ODB down for the count? Is she going to be out? Yes, she is. Yes, she is. ODB is down and out. Gale Kim getting a big win there. That was pretty fast, I think. I would say that's pretty fast. Pretty fast win, yeah. Yeah. So let's see some replays here. What happened? There's the eat defeat. See, there was hardly any replays either. Boom. Now, the screen shook and everything. That means, like, extra impact or something. I don't, I don't know. And there is the phone. Oh, my goodness. Stop. Stop. There we go. It stopped. <laughs> the phone rings in like every episode oh not good but there we go Gail Kim getting the win I can already see that the Divas have a different win in animation so well done WWE for putting those in yeah generic Diva ending she's a heel though so why is she like playing up to the fans I'm guessing she's just happy with a big win <clears throat> I don't know. I don't know, but we'll exit out here and we'll do a quick recap and the question of the video, which I haven't thought about at all, so I don't really know what to say. Uh, um, hmm. So, let's go through this first. So, Gail Kim defeated ODB, we've just seen that there. Matt Hardy defeated East, defeated Bobby Roode. 
in the six-man tag match. Austin Aries defeated Kurt Angle. Christopher Daniels defeated Nick Jackson, then got completely taken out, and we it seems like he is injured. And then finally, Jeff Hardy defeated AJ Styles, number one contender, in the main event. Now, the question of the video is, we said a couple of episodes back that we were going to focus on the, the main championship, the TNA World Heavyweight Championship, which is Jeff Hardy's right now. So, next episode, we won't be just playing out the rivalry match. What would you like to see Jeff Hardy taking on who? Who do you want Jeff Hardy to face in the next episode? So, leave a comment who, who you want him to face. And the most thumbed up or most commented person will take on Jeff Hardy in the next episode. So... Yeah, that's going to be it for this episode. If you enjoyed it, you know what we going to do. Like up the video. Let's see if we can hit 50 likes as soon as possible. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you next time.